What is going on guys, JT Gilly back with another video and today we're going to be talking about some very very exciting stuff because tomorrow is September 6th. Now if you guys don't know what September 6th is, it's going to be the first day they ever test the exclusive raid system and if you guys don't already, Mewtwo is set to be released in the exclusive raid system so everybody believes that Mewtwo will be dropped tomorrow. If not Mewtwo, then maybe another Pokemon but there is a test going on tomorrow and that's very very exciting news we could possibly there's a very very good chance that we can get Mewtwo tomorrow or something else they have to test it some way I don't believe they're gonna be testing it with regular Pokemon that we have now so all this is pushing me to believe that Mewtwo is gonna be available in Pokemon Go tomorrow so here it is how to prepare for Mewtwo raids in Pokemon Go now we're gonna talk a little bit about the exclusive raid battle system and how that's gonna work and we're gonna talk about just a little bit of information we know about it so far here's a little bit bit from the article that Pokemon Go officially tweeted out. While these legendary Pokemon, aka the three beasts, are traveling the world, we'll also begin an EX raid battle, formerly known as exclusive raid battle. Field testing phase at select gyms before the feature is made globally. We have collected some valuable early feedback on the new EX raid battle feature, and we'll look to further test and hone the experience through the feedback of the dedicated global trainer community. During the field test, we'll be making periodic adjustments to EX raid eligibility requirements, frequencies, times, locations, and durations, with the goal of making the EX Raid Battle feature engaging, rewarding, and most importantly, fun for trainers who regularly participate in Raid Battle. So, it looks like they're favoring people who raid often. So, if you if you don't ever raid, and you just want to do a Mewtwo raid, I'm not sure if you're going to be quote-unquote eligible. I'm not sure. There are requirements. Apparently, they want to gear it more towards people who raid often or have raided a good amount of time in the past. They don't want to just do it for anyone, which is, I kind of understand that, but at the same time, not a lot of people have gyms around them or people to raid with, so I kind of, I don't know how that's going to work out. We're going to find about all this tomorrow, hopefully. So, what this is telling us is that YouTube will either arrive tomorrow or very, very soon here, so it's better that we prepare and figure out how to take down Mewtwo in this EX raid battle system. And here's a little bit from the last part of the article. The first EX raid passes will be sent out soon and those invited will have an opportunity to try out the new system as early as September 6th. Stay tuned for more updates as we launch the EX raid battle field test to more gyms in the weeks ahead. We look forward to reading all of your constructive feedback on our social media channels and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts throughout the EX raid battle field test. So it says the first EX raid passes will be sent out soon and that we can start testing on the 6th. Now I'm recording this on the night of the 5th. So, I'm kind of wondering when were they going to send those out? Do people already have them? Because I don't see anything on Twitter about that. Are they going to send it out tomorrow and start testing tomorrow? No one really knows. They're really vague with what they're saying. And, you know, Pokemon Go and Niantic haven't really been too precise or too detailed about anything they do drop. So it's a lot of speculation and it's a lot of like guessing, which isn't always really a good thing. I know it's fun to guess and to like make theories and whatnot, but it's definitely, it'd be better if we had more of a precise, like if we knew what we were expecting, you know what I mean? So hopefully they kind of figure this out and give us a little bit more details tomorrow. So I'm very much looking forward to that tomorrow. You guys are watching this video on the day that raid passes or the raid test is set to drop September 6th, so hopefully that happens and hopefully everything goes well. One thing to note is that during the field test, quote unquote, we'll be making periodic adjustments to EX raid eligibility requirements, frequencies, times, locations, and durations with the goal of making the EX raid battle feature engaging, rewarding, and most importantly fun for trainers who regularly participate in raid battles. That's a very, very important quote. And I'm very, very glad they said that because that means a lot if you really think about it. It's good that there's got to be like an eligibility requirement because you don't want level 1s just going out and doing Mewtwo raids. That's definitely not awesome. I, I, and I know you have to be level 5 to do a raid in general. But still, it's very important that they're gonna that they're focusing on making this engaging, rewarding, and fun. So that's, that's what we want. What's going on, guys? So really quick, I do want to interrupt the video. Af right after, literally right after I recorded this video, a lot of news regarding the EX raid systems became available. There's a lot of stuff I need to cover and I'm gonna cover in a short amount of time So for one the first ever EX raid pass has been officially given out to a random player in I want to say Belouve Belouve I don't know how that's pronounced. I really don't I've never heard of that city But a random player in Washington got an EX raid pass so they are officially rolling out so make sure to check your journal and check your Pokemon Go because they're officially rolling out. No one knows exactly who gets them, why they get them, what gyms get them, what gyms don't. It's just really random and for right now, 
as it stands right now at 11 o'clock a.m. on September 6th. We have no further knowledge on the EX raid passes and how they're be given and how they're given out. But apparently other people have received them. There's been some in San Francisco and I've literally battled at that gym where the raid pass was given to and I didn't receive one. So again, I don't know how this stuff works, but we're going to get some more details about it hopefully today from Niantic and Pokemon Go. Hopefully they release some details regarding it. There's none, there's no exclusive raids happening today. That's not a thing. But there are a couple, like you see in this picture right here, scheduled for tomorrow. So that's very, very exciting news. We're going to find out tomorrow exactly what comes from those exclusive raids. My guess would either be, it's going to be Mewtwo, and I have another really, really, really exciting fact about Mewtwo right after this, but I think it's going to be Mewtwo, or maybe Ho-Oh, or maybe Celebi, or Mew, and then they're going to work on it and perfect it, and then release Mewtwo in maybe a week or two, something like that. But I want to talk about another thing that regards to Mewtwo, and that really ups his chances of being available literally today or tomorrow in Pokemon Go. One thing I did forget to mention, though, is that as you can see, there's an official date and time. So on September September 7th from 18 p.m. which is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in Blua, Washington, United States, there will be an exclusive raid. Here's your exclusive pass, etc. You can see this in your journal, like I said, so make sure to check your journal. If you do get an exclusive raid pass, make sure to tweet it at me at official JT Gilly. But yes, they are officially be given out, and there's an official date for them also and time. So it's really, really cool. And it's really like exclusive i guess it's the perfect word for it it's exclusive it's like almost like it's like vip access stuff like that so very exciting news let's get to the mewtwo news so this morning around 5 a.m pacific time it's been discovered that mewtwo's base capture rate is six percent which is literally three times any of the other legendaries we have in this game so far so it seems like Catching Mewtwo is going to be a little bit easier than catching any of these other legendaries But the thing is these exclusive raids are pretty freaking exclusive They're not going to be common at all. You're barely ever going to see them And that's what it sounds like that's what it appears like that's what I'm assuming it's going to be like I'm assuming that finding a Mewtwo raid is going to be very 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 rare so when you catch it and you get that opportunity it looks like they're going to give you a better chance in catching it and if you guys know in japan when they released mewtwo to everybody in japan they gave everyone 50 balls now i don't think they're going to give everyone else 50 balls in these exclusive raids but i think they're going to up the amount of balls you get for taking down or defeating the raid maybe they'll give you what do they give you now six maybe they'll give you like 10 maybe 15 maybe 12. if they up the base capture rate they might either up the amount of balls you get for beating that raid or maybe just keep it the same because they up the base capture rate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But yes, Mewtwo is in the game master file. The base capture rate is in the game. That usually means that that Pokemon is ready to drop. I mean, it's literally in the game already. People have it. But like it's ready, I think it's ready to drop for everyone else. So we either get it today or tomorrow or we get it sometime very, very soon here. I had to include that little bit of information because it was very, very important and happened literally after I recorded this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. If you guys do that, it literally increases your chances of getting a legendary Pokemon, especially Mewtwo. So if you like and subscribe and you get a Mewtwo, you know who to thank. Enjoy the rest of the video. So enough of the EX raid battle system thing coming out today, the day you're watching this. Let's talk about Mewtwo as an actual raid boss. Mewtwo is pretty much the best Pokemon in Pokemon. I think that kind of goes without saying. He's like the guy. I mean, he's literally made in the lab. He's, he's like genetically amazing. In case you guys were wondering, Mewtwo is not soloable at all. Like genuinely not. Like, did you even think Mewtwo is going to be soloable? I really hope. Now again, if you guys are real players, you guys don't have a lot of people to raid with. I apologize for saying this in advance. But personally, for me, I hope they, I hope they help you guys out. But for me personally, I hope it's hard to take down a Mewtwo. I want this to be difficult. Mewtwo is the best Pokemon. There are people walking outside my house. Mewtwo is the best Pokemon on the planet, pretty much. So, I hope it's hard. I hope it's not easy to get. People in Japan got it very easily. That's a whole different thing. But I hope that Mewtwo in general, through these exclusive raid systems, which we still don't know how it's going to work, really. I hope it's going to be hard to get him. You guys didn't already. Mewtwo is a pure psychic type. He's not dual type. He is only psychic. And because he is, there are a lot of raid counters against him. And it's going to be pretty good. I think you guys have most of these Pokemon. So, this is going to be... I mean, you guys can prepare for this well. Mewtwo's boss CP is 49,430. Now, I believe that's the largest boss CP we've seen so far. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I'm pretty sure 49,430 is the biggest boss CP we'll ever see. And the max capture CP, aka the 100% IV CP of Mewtwo is 2,275. So, 2,000. 
275 is the 100% IV Mewtwo. If you guys get that and Pokemon Go, you're a pretty big deal. Now let's talk about some Mewtwo raid counters, which again, like I said, you guys have most of these, so most of these aren't going to be too hard to obtain. The best raid counters are Tyranitar with Bite and Crunch or Bite and Stone Edge, preferably Bite and Crunch because it's it's super effective against Psychic Pokemon. Bite and Stone Edge works just as well. Mewtwo, if you have a Mewtwo, if you want to use it against Mewtwo, Mewtwo with Confusion and Shadow Ball is also really, really good because Ghost is super effective on Mewtwo. Houndoom with Snarl and Foul Play is a great option. Scizor with Fury Cutter and X Scissor, another really good option. Gyarados with Bite and Crunch or Bite and Hydro Pump, not a bad option at all. Pinsir with Fury Cutter and X-Scissor. So Bug is also super effective on Mewtwo. Gengar with Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball is also another really, really good Pokemon to use. And those are what? Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 really, really good counters from Mewtwo. Technically 6 because... And going into your first Mewtwo raid, you're not going to have a Mewtwo unless you went to Japan. So those are some really, really good Mewtwo raid counters. Make sure you go back in this video and screenshot that. Have that memorized. Have that on deck for when they drop because, yo, that's going to be lit. By the way, when Mewtwo does drop, just to know, I'm uploading that right away. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to LA this week, by the way. I just want to do, I just want to throw this in here really quick. I'm going to LA the day you're watching this. I will be with Mystic7 for almost a full week. So expect a lot of adventures from him and I. And also, hopefully we can battle a Mewtwo together. I think that'd be really awesome. So now let's talk about the best way to fight Mewtwo. And first off, before anything goes, I just want to say you have to dodge. I mean, unless you have 20 people and you guys are all really, really good. It's hard because Mewtwo is very, very good at attacking. He has a lot of damage, and he will do a lot of damage if you don't dodge. So I know I don't even dodge. I know it's like it's kind of a weird habit that we gotta start, we gotta start getting into. But you guys gotta learn how to dodge. I gotta learn how to dodge. We gotta dodge because it is pretty much. Now it's not even recommended. It's mandatory. You gotta do it. The best Pokemon to fight Mewtwo with is Tyranitar with Bite and Crunch. If you have that, that is your absolute. Best bet, no matter what. Bite and Crunch Tyranitar will absolutely, I don't want to say shred Mewtwo, but it'll do the most amount of damage and it's the best counter absolutely for Mewtwo. So if you guys don't have a Bite and Crunch or even a Bite and Stone Edge, which isn't too bad, but Bite and Crunch is definitely what you want. If you guys have a Tyranitar like that, make sure to max that guy out. Well, not only if he's good IVs, but make sure to power that bad boy up and get ready to fight a Mewtwo. But one thing to keep in mind is Mewtwo can learn Focus Blast. So you gotta be careful because fighting is super effective on Tyranitar. You gotta be careful. Like I said, you gotta dodge. You gotta know when to dodge. You gotta dodge well because there's a good chance of Mewtwo also really destroying your Tyranitars. Now, two quick additional Mewtwo counters, just in case you guys don't have one of these seven Pokemon, are Dragonite with Outrage, just a pretty general Pokemon that's always going to be really, really good, have a lot of HP, do a good amount of attack and whatnot. Dragonite with Outrage, obviously the best one, and then, again, Blissey with anything works, but... I recommend just don't use it. Even if you have a really bad Houndoom, use Houndoom. Blissey doesn't help. It doesn't help the raid group. It doesn't help you. <laughs> just do a Houndoom or something. Just even if it's the worst Pokemon you got, just throw it in there. Just don't do a Blissey. Trust me, you guys don't want to be doing that. It is not a good idea. But that's going to about wrap it up. Mewtwo is set to come out very, very soon here. Whether that means tomorrow or sometime in the next few days, I hope this video helped you guys learn how to prep for me too. I gotta start powering up my scissors. I gotta power up my Tyranitars. I gotta start using some TMs. I gotta get ready because Mewtwo is a pretty freaking big deal and no one knows how long he's going to be out for, how many chances we're going to get to battle him. So it's a lot of stuff that we really don't know. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you guys excited to get Mewtwo? I know I am. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'll be in LA. So look forward to some awesome videos from me and Mystic7. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys later.